All right, today's video, I'm just gonna update you guys on the channel, where we're at, what's going on, ordered a bunch of parts, a bunch of little things are showing up. So right now we're in the house, let's go ahead go over to the shop and show you guys what's up. So it has been so freaking hot, you guys, but it is raining right now, which is actually kind of good because it has been so ridiculously hot that this is actually cooled us down. All right, let's roll. Got a little protein bar, we'll get this video cracking. All right, so let's go. So as far as everything here, uh, parts have been showing up for our RAM project. We are in full swing on this. Um, Aaron's working on the Helcota right now, so that's why if you're wondering if you haven't been with the channel for a couple weeks or so, Helcota is over at Aaron's. Go check out his videos. He's been documenting the whole process on the painting job. And the Helcota should actually, uh, this video is going up today on Friday. The Helcota should be, according to Aaron, all blue on I guess like Tuesday or Wednesday next week so next week the paint will be all done and then we're gonna let it cure and stuff like that so probably the handles and all that stuff won't go on it for a little bit but we got a package from our buddy John at Najar off-road so I'll tell you guys what's going on all over here in a second but he sent us what I wanted and this is the harness that's out of, oh my gosh, freaking Jonathug over here with his tape job. I can't even get it open. Look, you guys don't know, who's Jonathug. Najar Off-Road, Najar Navar, I don't know. I've known the guy for like three years and I still can't say his name properly, but go check out his YouTube channel too. I'll link him. He, uh, he needs a little bit of love over there. He's uh, got all Jeep content, if you guys don't know, so you can see his little Jeep stuff over there. We'll slap up his sticker so we'll remind everybody. But let me get this open. I'll show you guys what I got him to send me. All right, so here's what I got him to send me. So I got him to send me this. So this is the whole harness that was in the center console um, from the Hellcat stuff. So I wanted this because this is the one that will allow us to do CarPlay. So it has a different connector than that. And I'm still on the hunt. I, uh, I did buy an 8.4 Uconnect that had... CarPlay, but it didn't work. So uh, they ended up crediting me the money back and I still haven't had time to do all that. So let's talk about this first and then we'll move on to some other stuff. So if you guys haven't seen all this, if you're wondering what the heck is going on, John, go check out the videos on Boosted Motorsports 2. I'm gonna post this video on the main channel. This is the Hellcat motor that we're putting into here. Uh, we tried to do a leak down test and it showed a little bit of issues. And on further inspection, it ended up being not that serious, which is obviously a good sign, but um, required a little bit of TLC. So we took it all apart. I'm cleaning everything, reassembling stuff, checking everything, and make sure she's good to go. So we're doing, this is our health check that uh, got out of hand. So we got all the valves out of both heads. You can see them all lined up there. This head I just got cleaned. And then uh, this one I still have to clean. You can see it's all so kind of gross looking. And then I've talked to several people now that have said that they believe this blower is still good. Um, as far as some of the little marks in the coatings, like just those few little marks, they said they've seen that on other used blowers and it's uh, not indicative of it being messed up. So there's that. And then on other news, this just showed up too. So th this little panel that I was missing, if you guys watched the video on how to install the seats, if you remember, you'll know that I was missing this little trim piece. So I got that little trim piece, so we'll put that in there. And then I also received these, if you guys remember from the console install video, I was missing these trim panels. So these showed up on both sides. These were the parts that LKQ decided to kind of mess me over on and not include them and then not give me a refund either. So super cool experience with LKQ. Uh, as far as other stuff though, today since it was so hot out, I didn't do a ton of stuff inside the shop. Uh, it was like there was like heat advisory warnings popping up on my phone. So it was a very hot one here today. But what I did spend a lot of time on today was research and stuff for parts that we need to get this thing done. So not only do we just need the engine, but we need a lot of other stuff. Wiring harnesses, brackets, uh, supercharger coolers, all that stuff. So I ended up ordering uh, some parts and making a parts list. Pretty happy that uh, I found out some TRX parts are going to work for our application and um, make a lot of the fab work a little bit easier in my opinion. 
And uh, we got a lot of parts on the way, so that stuff's all showing up. And then let me show you guys a few other things. So on this thing here, I ordered this mat and the one that goes in here. Again, the stuff that LKQ decided not to uh, ship and to remove and not send me. So those two uh, should be here. It was actually supposed to show up today, but they uh, changed that to Monday. So that stuff is on its way as well. Haven't actively been looking, but uh, haven't sourced out the door panels yet. If you guys are wondering why I'm waiting for the door panels to do the power windows, the actual power door panels, they come out further like this, and this is where the switches sit. And then also this is bumped out too to allow for the motor to be underneath the panel. So even though I have the electronic harness, the door modules, the switches for the power windows, I can't install it because this panel won't allow for the space in the back and I don't have somewhere to put the switch. And with this, I also mentioned on the other channel that the TRX oil pan is on its way. So we're going to TRX oil pan coming. I do have a steel pan as well. If you guys have uh, been with the channel for a while, you'll know that I have a rear sump pan. And if you're wondering why I'm changing the oil pan, front sump, it needs to go to rear sump to be able to fit in the trucks. So I do have a conversion kit, an aftermarket one. Uh, but it's a steel pan that's custom done. But I uh, saw a TRX pan come up for a decent price, so I'm gonna see if I can't put it on here and it might make our jobs easier. As for throttle bodies, I am getting a bunch more done for you guys. It's just, uh, you know, not a high volume thing. I know some people are uh, trying to get a hold of me and stuff for the throttle body thing, but like I said, it's not a, a big thing that I do. And it's just a one man show between filming, editing, wrenching, and trying to get some stuff done for you guys as well. So I do have two 8.4 U connects. If anybody's interested, uh, hit me up. Also have a bezel and I have this bezel that's for a jump seat. So it's not for a center console. If you guys want to upgrade your dash bezel. And I also have the same gunmetal one that I removed from here. So if you guys want a gunmetal bezel and it's like this I would grab it but it's it's up there you guys can probably see it so it's that gunmetal color matching as well so, so I got a bunch of stuff I gotta start getting rid of because it's uh, turning into a bit of a mess over here and just the list keeps growing bigger and bigger you guys so this thing at least on this driver's side front even though the vehicle's only got 49k on it uh, this wheel bearing is toast it's all clicking and stuff like that so uh, whatever it takes transmission parts did supply two bearings so I got two front wheel bearings right there um, so we'll be getting into that at some point but I haven't really been driving this thing uh, too much anyway since it's been under constant uh, work right now but probably end up enjoying it a little bit with the 5.7 nothing too crazy but uh, probably end up taking it out a little bit with you guys before we actually drop this in but that's gonna be happening very quickly you guys so that's gonna be it as far as updates, you guys. I just wanted to take a couple minutes here to update everybody. And if you're wondering why there wasn't a video for the last day or so, go check out Boost Motorsports 2. You guys will see what I've been up to and it's that engine. So that engine has been taking up a lot of time, but that's okay. I'm just happy that everything seems to be going in a positive direction right now. And uh, we'll know exactly what we're gonna have by the end of it and be able to put it in with complete confidence at the same time. So that's pretty much it. Hit me up for any of the other stuff below. Go check out the other videos if you guys haven't already. And uh, have a good weekend, everybody. And we'll see you guys on the next video.